Expressions have gone beyond art for art's sake. Most creatives have been using their works of art to talk about issues they feel should be given the desired attention. We'll be seeing some of those hot topics on today's episode of the program. I'm Melinda Akinlami. Thank you for joining us on Art House. I tell you this, I may be dead, but my ideas will not die. I believe it is important to speak to your readers in person to enable people to have a whole picture of me. Female photographer Yetunde Babaiko is putting the spotlight on albinism with her solo exhibition at Temple Muse in Lagos titled White Ebony. A picture is worth a thousand words. These ones exhibited at Temple Muse in Lagos says it loud and clear as it explores a day in the life of an albino, with about 20 inspiring images. <music> Photographer Yetunde Ayeni Babako is the one who is walking this path with her pictures all packaged to create the White Ebony Exhibition. Once I learned a bit more and did my researches as a photographer about albinism, I decided that, well, this, this is something that needs to be addressed in our country. It's, it's a huge unfairness that people, just because they have a different skin color, are discriminated. Also, me myself, I'm mixed race. When I was living in Europe, I definitely faced some discrimination in Nigeria as well. I don't perfectly fit in, so I, can, I could somehow put myself into the shoes of an albino. I think this is one of those excellent uh, but very strategic way of using arts to change negative perception. You know, um, it's a very strategic event and we're partnering with Yetunde Babaiko uh, to make this happen. We're happy that people are associating with a group of people that ordinarily they wouldn't have associated with. Some members of the Albino Foundation also posed for her, and they know all too well where the shoe pinches. It's been the story of their lives since they were born. That's why they need all the help and support. It shows that beauty is beyond what people can see. That what people turn ugly can actually be beautified. And the fact that God never created anything ugly, it is people's mindset that gives ugliness to an object, you know. And in this case, uh, this is one way of proving that we are beautifully and wonderfully made. We are a showpiece and a masterpiece of God's handwork. And I'm, I'm using this opportunity to beckon on all the artists to help, not only with persons with albinism, but people with vulnerability so that we can use very strategic um, means like arts to tell a positive story of a negative situation. I never expected to be here today, but when I received a call from Yechunde Babaiko that the exhibition will be holding today, I just have to turn up. I just have to turn up and I was not believing this is the picture they will be displaying for today because we took so many photos together. But unfortunately, the pictures came out amazing. I love them, I tell you, I love them. I'm so amazed, I'm so happy to be here today, I tell you. It's so good being here today at the Temple Moors. A 
in my body of work, there's an image called the protector. That one talks about the strength of the mother of a person with albinism. It, it talks about, it shows you how strong a mother has to be, how educated a mother has to be to raise a child with albinism, how protective she has to be, uh, protecting the child from, from the sun, but, other, but also from other influences in society. And in that image I have a mother with a shield and a spear, with two children, protecting her two children, or two offsprings who happen to be people with uh, children with albinism. And, and she's protecting them from the harsh sun. And parents of people with albinism have to learn how to dress their children appropriately to protect them from the sun. They have to learn to use sunscreen appropriately. And they also psychologically, they need to be strengthened in their awareness and they need to be educated how to deal with society's you know, backlash sometimes. SMO Contemporary is curating Yetunde's photo exhibition and describes this creative mind as a passionate artist who is always ready to embrace a good story and interpret it using her unique style. Members of the foundation worked with Yetunde and allowed her to interpret the challenges that they face through the, photo the photos that you see um, today. And so the images touch on issues like discrimination, um, depression, um, self-actualization, self-love, um, um, and also celebrates their beauty and the importance of celebrating them as full-fledged members of our society. So it's very important that we recognize through the exhibition that there needs to be a lot more advocacy being done for people with albinism in Nigeria today. Um, we need to honor and protect their human rights and also ensure that they have um, equal access to education. You know, many of them are visually impaired, so um, there's a lot that needs to be done to make sure that they have the kind of access to opportunities, employment, education, as every other Nigerian as well. There's a very interesting um, image which is of a um, a person with albinism unzipping their skin and you see underneath there's a black skin and you see their white skin um, above and that's a, a creative way that Yetunde has used to show that we are all the same we're all equal underneath we're all the same um, so even if people with albinism have you know a, a lighter colored skin we should accept them and we should celebrate them before, before taking the pictures, I had sit-downs with the PWAs, persons with albinism. I had interviews, I interrogated them, I uh, wanted to know exactly what they think, what they feel. Whatever the answer they gave me, I took it and now put it into the images. For instance, when they told me that they just want to be seen as equal as, as anybody, that they can do the same job as anybody else, that they have the same feelings, I now created an image called The Truth, which is an albino with an unzipping it himself and revealing his Africanness, telling people that despite my skin color, I'm still Nigerian, I'm still African. So if you, if you look well, you'll find different clues in every image that, that, that reveals or that teaches you something about albinism. The exhibition, I thank everybody who came out to support EA today and people who look looking at the postures everywhere, I thank everybody for coming. It feels good, it feels good. This is what Nigeria should be like, you get it. I tell you, if we can do more of this in Nigeria, Albinos, we have standard in Nigeria, I tell you. We have standard, we have quality, we have everything because they are good people. We are good people, I tell you, good people. It goes beyond this picture story. The organizers are walking the talk. When the curtain falls on the exhibition, part of the proceeds from the sales will go towards supporting people with albinism. So 
talk about art for a good cause, especially as the world just marked International Albinism Awareness Day on June the 13th. Okay, now it's time to check out some of the images you sent in online. Then when we return, it's off to the Biodo Molayo Gallery for his solo show. So do join us again. These are the images you sent in this week. The Bride is an acrylic on canvas work of art done by Ilechi Ululu. Then this artist preaches unity with this work of art he calls Unity Dance. He says Nigeria is his motherland and it's a beautiful place, so we should not throw our culture away. We should love one another and be united. It's done with watercolour on canvas. Then the picture is by Kenneth Phillips Dacas, is an oil on canvas work. MK Daniel has this digital art he calls Deep Thoughts. African Beauty is a work done by Nathan Ayo. He says flowers are beautiful and so are you. has this poster color work is called fruit then finally Olamide Ugunade has this graphite and charcoal on paper work is called deep roots Those are the works of art you sent in. We do encourage you to keep them coming and always remember to put the relevant information beside them when you send in that work of art. <laughs> 